Hey guys, back from Panama and successfully moved into South Carolina. We moved from upstate New York, settled in. So this is going to be a behind the scenes video for June and I'll have the July behind the scenes video coming out in just a couple of weeks. But this is going to be some clips from Panama I took with me and my brother and some other pictures and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so let's start off with the obligatory Panama Canal. That's what you're looking at. My brother and I spent a day and took the train from Panama City up to a city called Cologne, which is a bit north of Panama City. The amount of work that went into this thing is just incredible. And that's my brother right there. When we made it up to Cologne, apparently it's an extremely dangerous city, especially for foreigners. So as soon as we got off the train, we were kind of ushered into taxis. That took us to an economic free zone, which turned out to be one of the biggest free trade areas in the entire world. And this I thought was a pretty cool picture of one of the food trucks, I guess you'd call it there, that had been there so long that the people had put a roof on it. And if you can see where the wheels are, it's growing moss under there. So goodness knows how many years that thing's been parked there. All right, guys, setting up for an interview here in Panama. Come join me. I have to go up to the top of the roof because the room is too loud and it's got some echo. So we're going to floor 23. I've already set up a little, a little area for us to talk. The view's pretty amazing. Audio is okay, it's at least good enough to where, well, look, you're looking at infinity, how about that? Uh, audio is good enough where, this is going to be a little background noise, going to be a little wind, but you know, it's scenic. So, let's fast forward this part. Alright, here it is. Top of the rooftop. Apparently there's a pool up here, but um, it's not in service, so. Pretty sensational view, yeah? All right, this is Panama City, all the way around. And the wind, it's too windy here, so there's this little breaker, right? This is the little studio I set up for our interview. <laughs> Two chairs from our apartment and a table on top of a table should make for pretty good audio. And then hopefully, um, we'll do a little photo shoot. My brother has joined me on this trip and he's a photographer. So <clears throat> hopefully we'll get a few like Patterson and Pursuit promo shots. I'm thinking of you like this, <laughs> that could be cool. I'm talking with Oscar Martin, the Catholic priest, so. And these are some of those aforementioned pictures. You can see the beautiful city in the background. Apparently I was cracking jokes. We were having a good old time. And there's another picture of the city just from a distance, at least the downtown area, which is of course beautiful. One of the places that we explored was part of the coastline, which when the tide goes out, you can actually walk out where the tide goes out from the beach. And you can kind of walk around the structures there. So I thought that was pretty crazy. This was some graffiti that I thought was interesting. I don't know if you can tell, but Uncle Sam has missiles for fingers, if that tells you anything. Guys, so I'm in the Panama Airport right now. Uh, a little bit behind schedule on posting my shit, so I'm walking through, I'm uploading my, uh, my podcast for today, right now, um, as I'm walking through the airport. But about to get on a flight heading to Mexico City, two hour layover, then back to New York. So hopefully I don't miss my flight. All right, so that was my trip to the interesting and upcoming city of Panama City. I've also got some clips from when I arrived in New York that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. And then of course, very shortly after we got back, we started our move from upstate New York down to Charleston where I'm currently sitting. Can't wait to show you guys the studio that we've created. As always, thanks so much for your guys' consistent support of my work. I deeply hope that you find it valuable. Do send me some feedback about these videos, what you'd like to see, what you don't care to see. There's obviously going to be quite a bit less world traveling, but I still want to make these videos as interesting for you as possible.